Suedia. Cea mai mare țară a Scandinaviei. Una dintre cele mai mari țări din Europa și în același timp cu o densitate foarte mică a populației. Suedia ocupă un loc de frunte în producția mondială de lemn. Este o țară cu istorie bogată și, drept mărturii, servesc miile de cetăți istorice, monumentele unice în aer liber sau mormintele din epoca de fier. Capitala Suediei, Stockholm, este numită Frumoasa pe apă. Orașul, situat pe litoralul Mării Baltice, pe 14 insule, este, fără îndoială, una dintre capitalele cele mai frumoase din lume. Suedia a înscris file de aur în istoria cinematografiei mondiale prin regizori ca Ingmar Bergman. Țara are un patrimoniu muzical impresionant și, când vorbim de muzica suedeză, ne amintim mai întâi de legendara formație ABBA, care, de asemenea, a făcut istorie. De patru ani avem o ambasadă a Suediei la Chișinău, iar excelența sa, Ingrid Tersman, este prima ambasadoare care în toți acești ani a construit relații bune și pui strainice între țările noastre. I was met over time by a lot of friendliness and generosity and warmth and I would say of a, by a spirit of cooperation between Moldova and Sweden and a will on, of so many that I have met here to strengthen our ties and also to take benefit from the support that we provide to, uh, to Moldova. La începutul mandatului dumneavoastră ați prezentat guvernului de la Chișinău o strategie pentru anii 2011-2014. De asemenea, în mai 2014 a fost semnat un acord bilateral cu Suedia și Chișinău ce obiective ați reușit să le realizați, pe care le-ați trasat acolo și uh, cu ce ați putea să vă mândriți deja? Uh, so if I look at what we have actually achieved, I think we have achieved some, but I have to say that reform efforts are of course a long-term objective and requires long-term efforts by the governments and by, 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 by society. I see that we have uh, achieved a certain uh, good progress when it comes to gender equality. I see that there is an, uh, an awareness in the country that um, gender equality is important for economic development and for democracy and for prosperity. Uh, we fund several programs uh, concerning this. I um, can mention one, uh, which is called Women in Business, which provides support to small companies run by business uh, by business women so 90 companies have now received support from Sweden and their businesses have been able to expand so they can employ more people and then of course uh, what they... kind of business actually we are totally flexible when it comes to what kind of business but i know that there are companies in public relations there are companies in textiles there are there's a mozzarella and a cheese uh, producer for example so it's a wide array of um, of companies um, so that is that is one and that makes me very happy um, another thing that we have been doing is to support the government in um, Uh, adopting the legislation so that the legislation will be in line with European standards uh, and I think we have done that in a number of areas and uh, when it comes to energy, energy efficiency, also when it comes to market development. Uh, we are now working on informing uh, many of Moldovan companies on how to best use the trade agreements with the European Union because it offers great uh, opportunities. But I think there's been and there has been information lacking and we are working on making sure that companies know how they can use this. We have also spent quite a bit of time and effort on decentralization and local public administration reform uh, to make sure that the uh, local level will be able to better serve the needs of the, of the citizens. Here we have trained mayors and district councils. We have uh, developed the decentralization strategy that is you know, under way of being implemented and I know that it will really be implemented and the next step will be taken in 2015. 
when more fiscal responsibility will be given to the to the district level. So that are uh, they open to collaborate with you? Very much. Uh, I would say that the uh, the mayors, the many mayors that uh, that we have in Moldova, are very keen on cooperating. And mayors want to deliver results for the citizens, but they do not. The way that the system works today, the tools are not always there. So we are trying to work with them and with the government to ensure that there will be better tools for the uh, for the mayors uh, to be able to work uh, better for the citizens. And I'm glad to see the engagement on the part of them, but also on the citizens in the communities where we have uh, where we are working. Um, good news for us. I think it is good news for you, and I think it's good news for everyone out in the countryside that have benefited for a from a um, repaired kindergarten or street lightning or. Uh, energy efficiency in schools, for example. I think we have done quite a bit over the years. Moldova is a fantastic country, I have to say. Um, uh, I think the strategic location of Moldova uh, between the east and the west and actually straight in the, in the center makes you uh, unique. I think your languages also makes the, uh, your languages make the country unique. Nowhere in the world would you, if you see the mix between Romanian and Russian and maybe Ukrainian and Bulgarian the way that you do here. And I, for me, coming from another country, that is a treasure. I know that the issue is not always easy here, but for an outsider it is a, uh, something that can be cherished and, and used in the trade of the country. You can trade both to the east and to the west and that is very, very beneficial. There's a great demand in my country for ecological uh, produce and for eco ecological nuts and, and berries. And I see that you have companies that produce and export uh, such goods to, to the European market and also to the Swedish uh, market. And I believe that there is a potential for these companies to expand to the Swedish, uh, Swedish markets. Uh, walnuts, for example, would be, is already exported, but can, of course, be expanded. Dried fruits, uh, I believe, would be much appreciated back home. We have tried to link together uh, Moldovan, uh, Moldovan exporters with the Swedish importers, so I know that this is the case. With a high participation also of women in the labor force, your production uh, possibilities uh, go up and you are not wasted, you are not wasting economic potential in your, in your country. And I think if you look at the Swedish experience over the last 30 years when women's uh, participation in the labor market has increased tremendously, that has so much contributed to the economic success of Sweden. So that would be one. And also, of course, in politics, not only in the economic sphere, but definitely to have women represented at local, regional and national level in, in politics, because the political decisions that are taken are for everyone. And as we know, here, like in Sweden, I think the population consists of 52% women, so it's only fair that they are part of the decision making. Natalia Garman, your current foreign minister, was your first ambassador to, uh, to Sweden. I think the bridges are there. Uh, we have strengthened the political ties. We have created the Eastern Partnership together with Poland that is geared towards strengthening democracy and uh, prosperity in, in our close uh, neighborhood. And I'm really happy that Sweden was one of the initiators for, for this. We have a few Swedish companies that are here in Moldova and I will be happy to see more companies come and I work closely with them and also with companies back home. Uh, we're building cultural ties, um, we are promoting exchanges of young people, people to people con contacts, um, contacts between villages and municipalities. And I think that is an excellent way of keeping, uh, you know, building and strengthening the, um, the bridges. And we also have students who come to, uh, to Sweden to study, uh, either at Swedish universities or at the Stockholm School of Economics in, in Riga. And we also have a few Swedish students who are here at your universities. So I think we have done a lot over the years. And um, even though we are geographically far away, I think there are some things that really connect us, and that is our European spirit and um, that we are both, I would say, somehow we are connected. But I'm sure that you know that during the 1700s, uh, our Swedish king then, Charles XII, spent uh, four years here in Bender and in Varnitsa. And I think that, that has a certain link to our joint history.
I will tell my countrymen to visit one of the least, visiting, least visited countries in the world because I know that Moldova is on one of those lists um, of countries that have very few visitors because I think it is a treasure and I think coming to Moldova now before lots of things may change in a positive way could be a very good experience for a Swedish visitor. And I think also coming here for the wine uh, for your uh, really good wine sector, which is only becoming better and better and better, is of, could be of great interest to Swedes, because Swedes are great wine drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your help, for your support and for this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>